Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. This is my wife, Candace. Hi. Hey, Candace. Hey. And we're finally today is, is the 29th, and we're finally able to talk about this stuff right here. But just to give a little background, um, what maybe about how long a month, ago? month ago? About a month ago. Yeah. Uh, John Cincinnati Picker sent me a photo of some barbecue they were cooking. I'm like, man, that looks really good. So I told Candace, I said, look, we're going, we got the girls and we went to lunch at a barbecue place. It's really good. Smoking Aces. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So anyway, Smoking Aces on the way back, there's one of those sign holder guys. Yeah, you know, the dance. <laughs> they're dancing out on the street, you know, pointing the arrows and stuff. And it said 70 to 90% off. So I'm like, what is that? So it was pointing at stage. It goes by other names, depending. Bills, on... Palais, oh, there you go, goodies, yeah. Peebles stage, Gordman's I know is another one. I know that one from Justin over at RVA Flips YouTube channel because he was hitting this stuff hard too. Um, but anyway, I'm like, let's go check that out. So then we go in and that's where you see all these jeans that are listed back here that I have on the shelves and over here and over there and there and there and there and there and there. Well, that came from stage. Levi's, so yeah. yeah, we go in, we go in, I start looking around. I'm like, the jeans were the adult were what? 60% at that time, 60% plus an additional 50 or 40. Something like that. Four, it was 40. 40. Yeah. I think it was 60 plus 40. Yeah, it was. So if a pair of jeans started off, is that what, 60 or 70? The, G, the adults were 60. 60? The kids were 70 at that okay, time. Okay, so if the jeans were 30 bucks, then you get 18 off. You end up paying 12 plus you get another 40% off of that. So just do the math. It's really kind of screwy math whenever they do percent plus a percent, but that's how they did it. Anyway, I got great deals. Like I'd say on average, I probably paid about $10 a pair for adult Levi's jeans. I ended up going back a few times and I got like 215 pair of jeans and I'm very happy with that deal. It was really good. Plus y'all stopped on the way back from- um, I did. Yeah, Sarah. that's right, Sarah was there. Y'all, yeah. you and Sarah. On the on the way back from um, Tennessee at two stores in another state, right? Yeah, but I didn't buy a whole lot. Maybe like 30 pairs or something like that. So anyways, I had always been kind of eyeballing the makeup counters, but they would only be like 30 to 40% off. And it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough because I, like, I kind of expect on eBay, maybe I'll get 70% of retail because people go to eBay looking for a deal usually unless it's something discontinued. So I was eyeballing it, waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, and every Thursday they lowered the discount more and more. Right, yep. Yeah, every Thursday they would mark it down again. Yep. So I didn't take video that, that, that day. This is last week. I walk into stage, I see this case here was 70% off. I'm like, yes. Then they had this case over here 70% off. Now he's already started unloading some of it there, I think, into these boxes. Oh, he's got some boxes behind here. And then they even, they also had this. So you buy eight or more items and you get 50% off of your ticket. So in other words, it's going to be 70% off plus another 50% off. So if you, if something costs a hundred bucks, $15, it's going to end up costing 70% off takes it down to $30 and then half of that is 15. So you end up paying 15 cents on the dollar, yeah. which is really good. Lots of room for profit there. Even if you sell it significantly below retail, if you have to. So anyways, they had these two cases here and here, and I went and found this guy. He's the manager <laughs> guy in the purple shirt. And I said, okay. Cause I told him whenever the prices get cheap enough, uh, I was going to come back and buy it. And um, I found him. He was there whenever I did the jeans deal. I found that guy and I said, hey, if I buy all of the makeup, all the cosmetics, can you give me a little better deal? And he's like, no, I'm sorry, I can't. Like, I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I wanna buy all of it. So I bought everything that's in these cases here and in these cases here right across from it. And 
the the main brands I saw looking through were um, Smashbox, Lancome, and Estee Lauder. There's Lancome. Was it? No, I didn't see Lancome. They have Smashbox, Elizabeth Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth Arden. Yeah. Elizabeth Arden, and that's Elizabeth Arden. So I have a ton of Elizabeth Arden right here, and then the other side. Here's the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, and then two cases of Clinique. Clinique. That's yeah. what. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So. Of. Yeah, I got I bought all that stuff at 15 cents on the on the dollar. And yeah, there's like that's a clinic case. Look mm -hmm. at that. Yeah. It's chock full. So that's what and I then we were like just transferring it into whatever we could. I was actually Okay, I had two registers going. Here's the store. You could see this half of the store at that point was all cleared out. And I had two registers going. I had this register here. This is my private register. And then, I don't know if y'all can see it, but way over there. There she is. Okay, and then I have another register over here with somebody uh, checking out my stuff there. And I'll walk from this side, because here's the deal. They can only ring up 100 items per ticket. And then their system would just shut down and you'd have to pay that ticket. So I go from this side and she'd get like the hundred items rang up or whatever i'd pay and then i would walk over to this side and then i had a little shelf in between right here and that little shelf is where i would toss my receipts <laughs> as i got them uh, i ended up making that walk 23 times i had to check out 23 times because i had uh 2300 items so this is them right here and i paid a little over 10 grand for them and doing some math hang on i'll be right back okay so um anyway i did the math real quick and the retail value of this stuff is about sixty-seven thousand dollars. will i get that much i don't know because i know i talked to justin over at rva flips youtube channel and some stuff he's selling around retail some he's having to take a little bit less than retail but then some stuff has actually been discontinued and he's getting way more than retail and i know estee lauder supposedly is going out of business they're not manufacturing stuff anymore so maybe all that stuff could get more i don't know but the retail value was yeah i had to do i did algebra <laughs> the retail value is approximately sixty-seven thousand dollars on all the stuff i bought you want to take a quick look at it candace has already been through it you know i did i was very conservative there What'd you get? I wound up pulling out three foundations because I've never used, I got Smashbox. I've never used that brand, so I wasn't sure of my color. So I pulled out three um, foundations, a cheek palette, um, some primer, a BB cream, a bronzer, um, and I mascara primer, yeah. Is that over there? I'm so. wearing some of it today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just what, out of the stuff I pulled, what I have on the day, the Smashbox um, Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. Th this segment right here, I did not plan. <laughs> <laughs> I did not plan the beauty Sorry, segment. guys. Um, Clinique Bronzer. This is Smashbox um, Cheek and Highlighter Palette. What did Col that say? Culver fruit? City Coral. It's, oh, Smashbox Studios, Los Angeles. I saw LA. I'm like, Louisiana. Yeah. And then this is Smashbox Mascara Primer. Yeah. They all work very good. I'm very happy with, with them. Um, Does that mean you're going to be looking for more when we go through these boxes here in a minute? Well, here's the deal. He says, come look through, pick you some stuff out. And he's like standing over me. <laughs> so I'm trying to like quickly go through it, you know. I wasn't standing over and you. try not to be stingy, but I, I do want more. <laughs> well, I mean, I... There's, there's a balance because I know that I got the stuff cheap, so I want her to have some. But then again, the stuff is worth a lot of money, so I want to make a lot of money, I too. Well, I was really looking for, like, um, palettes, like eyeshadow palettes and whatnot, and there's not a lot of that in there. It's your basics, so I probably would have taken a lot more. I was That's what I was looking for, like eyeshadow palettes and cheek palettes, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So. It, well, you want to go through some of these boxes real quick, show them? Just give them a taste. Yeah, let's right. just take a glance. Okay. All right, we just pulled a couple of boxes down just to give you all a little taste. 
Oh yeah, there's a little bit of this brand too. Wait. Um, go. the balm. Oh yeah. I love I love their this brand of lipstick. Um, I actually have that on right now. It's not from this box. It's some I already had. Meet Matt Hughes. These lipsticks are great. They well, good. You know, good. you can have all those that you want. You know why? Right. That stuff. It's not a highly expensive brand, but the, that lipstick is really good. This is called the Balm. And I actually got this. This was actually 90% off. Yeah. It wasn't in the case. So yeah. I actually paid like, I don't know, five cents on the dollar for that stuff. No, I don't know what this brand is. What does it say? Lord and Barry. I don't uh, know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you look, there's a bunch of Clinique in here. That's mostly Clinique in there. Here's some more Lord and Barry, whatever that is. There were also a few things that said tester on them. Yeah. And the cashiers told me whenever they came across anything that had tester on it, they just threw it in the box. I didn't pay for it. Yeah. So I actually have more than 2,300 items. This, in this box right here, Candace, this stuff. This stuff, this kind of stuff is oh, extremely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some good stuff. Right? Some of this stuff is like a hundred bucks a pop. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't been through it at all yet. I just, I, like, I've been, I've been knee deep in listing other stuff because I wanted to get to this stuff. I had uh, all the jeans I was talking about earlier, and then I also bought thirty six hundred dollars worth of Hot Wheels uh, not too long ago. So I wanted to get all that stuff listed before. I got to the dessert, which is this makeup. So um, just to give y'all a quick update though on the Hot Wheels, I've kept close track of them. I got them all listed and the total listings ended up being 10,000, about $10,400 at 106 loose and 100, no, 133 loose and 106 on the card. They ended up being, uh, the listings ended up being $43.53 on average. And I got them all up, so I'm done with that. That's why I went and picked the makeup up. So this box is probably one of my more expensive boxes. This one somebody has tested on their hand. Yeah, somebody, I'm not gonna sell any of that stuff. Yeah, these, you can, like why didn't they put, um, like a seal? seal? Yeah. Maybe it had a seal. Maybe they broke the seal. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna have to look out for some of that stuff. That stuff was not in the uh, in the cases. It was on top of the cases or on other shelving units. Yeah, I just like their their packaging and their names because it's like you know vintage stuff. Yeah. So anyway, that this is just a taste of what like this one's what it is. I have a total of over twenty three hundred items. Wanted to share that with y'all. Today was the last day. I would have loved to have told everyone about this. Um, you know this the closing of these stage stores but i just didn't feel like it was my place i don't want to blow up somebody else's spot uh so that's why i waited until today i didn't want to like if somebody else was hitting them in their town right i didn't want to screw like that that's not my place to do that kind of thing yeah. so anyways uh that's what i spent ten thousand dollars on that's what i'm gonna be working on for at least probably the next couple of weeks might take me a month i don't know yeah. But it's going to be awesome. Candace is probably about to rob me blind right now. No, I'm just looking at all of these. Because these were out on, not in glass. They were mm -hmm. out on shelving. So that's how people were able to, like, test it on their hands right. and stuff. So you really don't want to sell that stuff, you know. Yeah. And, I, I mean, lipsticks that have been opened. No way. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. We will see you all again soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.